Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign, but this time with a tremendous special guest, and that is D. Shaky. Welcome, D. Shaky, and say hello. Hello. Cool, so right now I am playing as that little, tiny, small Chinese Soviet Republic while D. Shaky has the big boy named Papa, S Papa Stalin, and he's got that fancy stash. <laughs> cool. And uh, what speed would you like to go on, D. Shaky? Well, I would hope we can get to four speed, possibly, but four whatever works. Speed works. it is. Cool. Awesome. And we do start off with negative zero political power. We lose point zero four a day. And for everyone watching, um, I have no idea how to play Communist China. We are using one mod right now, and that is the road to fifty six. And to be honest, I have no idea if I set it to a historical or not. It might be. It might yeah, not. That'll, that'll be a fun thing to figure out. If Japan goes democratic, then we can probably think it's a historical. Because I don't <laughs> exactly. think Japan was really too much of a democracy during World War II. Maybe I'm wrong, but you never know. Oh wow, that's yeah. a fancy picture of Mr. H, a Adolf H. Wow. Yeah, that's that's quite something today. I always like looking around at the portraits in this mod. It seems like they change them every once in a while too. Wow. Yeah, I just. It's, it feels weird for me playing Road to 56 since I play so much Old World Blues, but uh, <laughs> it's weird coming back and seeing all these things. I love Road to 56. Road to 56 is a ton of fun. It just sometimes it's too much fun. It gets a little too crazy, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, I should play this mod more. I've only played it like twice or something. It's insane how little I've played this mod. That's alright. We only have so much time. There's so many mods out there. It's just oh yeah. Oh. So what is your goal in this campaign, D Shaky? Or can you uh, call me Shaky is... or DS or Yeah, you can just call me Shaky, that's fine. My goal is to probably push the um push the Warsaw Pact all the way to Paris this time around. Last time we got to we got to East Germany, but I think we need to go further today. Okay, cool. And I assume you want to reform China, I guess. Uh, maybe. Just maybe, you know. Just a little <laughs> yeah, China. Possibly, we'll see. We'll see what happens, you know. Maybe make a navy invade Japan, you know, you never know. Oh yeah, that'd be fun. Or, or the AI is just stupid and you don't even need a navy. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So what do you like more, carriers or battleships? Or do you use both when you build your navies? Or do you build your navies? I have no idea. In single player, I usually don't build a navy. I'll usually just spam subs or something. And then just wait for the AI to not put their navy out or oh. run out of oil. Oh, that hurts me. Oh, you know, I know a lot. I'm in the minority here, but I actually kind of like uh, messing with the ship templates. I really kind of like that to make my ships better, outfit with the coolest guns, with the latest uh, airfields and deck armor and stuff like that. I don't know. I always like doing that now. Just it, it's easy. Yeah, I, I, the AI doesn't do it, you know. Yeah, I would love to do it. I'm just I've just always been too lazy to actually learn how the naval system works in this game. One day I'll figure it out. Especially if I want to start multiplayer stuff <laughs> against people. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, at least for me, I'm like, I I don't claim to really understand it. I know what works, <laughs> but yeah. you know, it seems to work mm -hmm. so far. So I'll take it. Cool. Mistake. Yeah, my dream is that one day I won't have to make the auto. I won't have to use the auto build button or whatever it is that just makes your template for you. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, auto. That'd be kind of cool. You know, let's see. What do I want? Uh, we cannot send a power. Oh, there was a national character. Ah, oh, yeah. Give me more daily political power, and then I'm gonna boost my morale. Cool. And continue the five-year plan, huh? Oh yes. I want to at least try to finish it before the Great Purge. This is a slight purge, just, you know, just slight yeah. removal. Yeah, exactly. It has, to, it has to be done. It's all good, it's just... I'm sure there's nothing evil going on there. Evil, nah. Just good yeah. times. Good times all around. Yeah, fun times. Fun times in the Soviet Union. <laughs> nothing like a five-year plan to have a good time. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, let's see, has, has Germany chosen anything? No, does France, I mean, oh, they're in the Allies. Actually, who's in, who's in faction? Because, because it's pretty normal. Sometimes the U.S. does like to go with its, by itself and form the 
North American Coalition? Association? Yeah. Something? Oh, yeah. Does the U.S. just have vanilla focus tree? Or is it just really close to vanilla? Uh, it should be different. Well, it should be. Oh, no. It, it looks it like it's... It actually is vanilla. Yeah, it is. looks like... Very close. Yeah. yeah, it's got... I guess the U.S. does have a pretty good focus tree. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, yeah, they... It's not perfect, but not bad. Yeah, they go... The communist path seems really kind of limited to a degree, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Ooh, that might... Hmm. Sometimes the devs leave in options before you begin any game that gives you a certain path that you want. They might they might have their own path, actually. And I I just didn't look at the paths that they could have... I could have selected for them. They might have their own focus tree. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. That, that, that makes sense. Let's see. Let's do Japan, what are you doing? Oh, Japan, you, have some, you got a little bit of resistance there in Korea, Japan. What? what? <laughs> cool, so what is a KMT or ch regular China doing? Led by Mr. Almost Balding Guy Chang here, National Defense Council. Oh man, I do not know this focus tree. <laughs> yeah, I wish I knew it too. I've, I've never played as Communist China either. The only time I played this. Communist China. Oh yeah, yeah. They, oh well, well. So it must be historical then. Usually they don't do Rhineland that fast if it's yeah. Not historical. Okay. So yeah. I'd guess. So I'd prepare for historical then. Well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Start. We start preparing for historical, and then some something crazy is gonna happen. I don't know if we can win the. I'll try to win the Spanish Civil War for the oh, Republicans, but I don't know if we can if it's on historical. Oh, you should be able to. Yeah. I'll try. You got all the tanks. You got all the fuel. You got some planes. You could. Oh, you yeah. got it. You know what? Just when Spain goes boom, deep shaky's going back. <laughs> Communist side wins. <laughs> yeah, let's hope so. Only if this is vanilla. Like the new Spain is so broken in vanilla. If Republican Spain wins, like the Soviet Union can like annex parts of it or huh. whatever. I don't know what goes on down there. Uh, I know that maybe they fixed it. If Spain, the communist Spain, not anarchist, but communist Spain, you can puppet Spain eventually. Yeah. Negotiate um, Carlos support. Yeah, yeah. Ever since the update, I, I totally forgot La Resistance dropped. I, I, I play so much Old World Blues that it doesn't really affect me that much. But uh, yeah, Spain, it's it's kind of thick with focus trees, but uh, and focuses, but. Hmm. Mm. Oh wow, this is like the this is a crazy focus tree. Oh yeah, it's pretty wow. big. Yeah. I'm not used to playing mods that actually give countries like crazy focus trees like that. Well I guess a lot of the, these focus trees are kind of similar to vanilla. At least a little bit, yeah. Uh like Ru yeah. Romania looks uh, I never played Romania so I can't comment. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's me too. I played a lot of those countries back a long time ago, but it's been so long. Oh yeah. What is this? Hungary? Oh, there goes Ethiopia. Well, my Ethiopia. Yep. Uh, no, I think Hungary has a unique focus tree, I think? I think it does, yeah. Because usually this tree wouldn't be as big, so... Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I know. I don't recognize some of these focus icons, too. That's oh, pretty God. cool. Look at Poland. The Polish has oh, wow. different directions they can take. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Compared oh, to no. Together for Victory DLC. Oh, my goodness. Uh Cool. Uh, let's see. You train some of your soldiers. I'm, I'm trying to get all these big boys. Well, yeah. they're actually really tiny. Uh, I'm, I guess uh, I better start training. Honestly, I was <laughs> gonna try to switch to a different template, but I guess I need the army XP to switch. I don't want to use up all my artillery training. Hmm. I'm training like this one little army here. I don't get army XP. Oh, okay. It says oh, let's do focuses first. I will slow it down just a little bit. If you're focused, well, I do. well, whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's good. Cool. Uh, yeah, it says with army XP, you also gain experience from conducting army exercises with troops that are of at least level trained one. Huh. Hmm. So my guys, so, they're kind of green. Oh, that's a kind of weird mechanic. I guess it kind of makes sense if they just want you to train. They want you to keep your troops um, training and um, recruit and deploy until they're ready or something. Yeah. You can't game the system? Come on, man. Yeah. 
Only if uh, I, I love I love exploiting. Well, I, I refused to exploit for like a, for a while, but then I gave up. What? I don't think the one di the one division thing doesn't even work anymore though, right? Uh, I don't think it does. I mean, it does work with like ships. I'm like, if you have only like one yeah. ship, you can get like 0.3 yeah. naval XP a day, which is amazing. <laughs> Look at her navy. We can train. We have so much naval experience by training this one little tiny des tiny destroyer. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It used to be only like the Americans who could get away with that with like five, but like all their ships and all their <sighs> oil, they didn't need to use that trick. But, oh, I remember uh, that. Right when Man the Guns came out. Chance. That was amazing. Cool. Let's see. Green five. Well, you guys are. Tr if I train the regulars, well, they will get some army XP, but I can't afford that. I only have three factories, and two of them are civilian factories. Popular front victory in France. Good luck to them. Well, good luck. Good luck, France. Yeah. Usually during these videos, I just, like, talk a bunch. Because usually I'm the only one here. So. And yeah. I just roll. Like, my mouth just goes, goes, goes sometimes. <laughs> so. Yeah. Have you ever played... I'll in with some memes every once in a while. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> have you ever played as Belgium or the Netherlands? I, I have, but it's been a long, long time. And by a long, long time, I mean like a year. I've only played this game for like a year, so okay, I'm, I'm pretty new to it, honestly. But yeah. wow, that's pretty good. Yeah. Not not since I'm not since I've been actually good at the game, so I, I lost pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah, I it tried takes to time. play Luxembourg recently, but that didn't go very well. Wait, Luxembourg. Yeah. Oh man. I, I thought it was I thought it was easier than it actually was. That. Oh. <laughs> Luxembourg is quite the challenge. They oh, they weren't lying. Yeah. I'm not that... I, I don't think I'd be that crazy to try them out. I'd be like, mm, I don't know, man. You've got a population of 300,000? Mm. Yeah, I learned the hard way that you at least have to have a couple divisions to defend against the Germans. It doesn't work yeah. so well when you just have, like, one guy and a one or two. heavy tank. Yeah, well, just one yeah. or two divisions, and you can't retreat yeah. and you get more organization if you get if you only one province. But, you know, whatever. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, that's the problem. I, uh, I think you you must have to like conquer Belgium or something. I, I just need to perfect the strategy there. I mean, back in the day, like I've been doing this at the time of this recording for three years. Like I started a year after Hoi Four came out. Oh, yeah. One of my older videos was like playing as fascist uh, Netherlands. I think I might have used Road to Fifty Six actually, but it's been a long time since I played as any Benelux country. Oh, they have to, yeah. I, brought up Belgium because they can form Brandenburg not Brandenburg Burgundy I'm thinking of you for uh, Burgundy yeah they got the yeah. they're playing the third empire or no not third empire the Theosis Theosis oh uh, yeah claim the old Burgundian Netherlands the Burgundian oh, yeah. we need we need to add Burgundy to Hoi 4 that would be great oh, I've played, played so much E4 such a good good times there oh how many uh, hours you got on uh, E4 I got like 800, so not much, but it was still more than Hoi 4 for a long time. Man, I'm trying to learn a U4. I don't know what trade does or do. Just oh yeah, trade money. trade is so complicated in that game. Numbers. It's not like Ugh. it's not like terribly complicated, but it's complicated enough that you have to think about it way way too much. And I, I enjoy it though. I enjoy trying to figure out what it does. Get all the money. Play as like England or Castile or something. I'm like, number go up, makes me happy, I don't know. Pay military, <laughs> take stuff, diplo points, annex something, core culture something. Uh, just <laughs> uh, Sounds just like EU4, good times. For the longest time, like, if I play EU4, I'd just be using cheats, man. I'm like, you know, play as the Ottomans, play as Prussia or Russia. I'm like, I need 5,000 ducats. Here's 5,000 ducats. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's it completely impossible to get lots of money before, like, unless you're, like, late, late game England or something. Or I, well, I'm sure people can, I'm sure people have amazing strategies they can use to get all the money as anybody, but uh, I can't figure it out. I have no idea, man. Yeah. So, how, how far back do you go with playing Paradox games? Because I'm like, I, I think I got you for a year ago from... February or something. So I haven't. I played Civ Six a lot like, oh. when that first came out. That's kind of how I got into Paradox games. Okay. I, I watched a lot of Civ Six videos. That, that led to Hoi Four. 
then okay. uh, once I found Paradox Games, I, I knew it was the right place. Right. There. <laughs> These nice. games are what I was looking for. Yeah. Nice. To be honest, I have no idea how to play Civ Six. I own Civ Six. No idea. No idea how to play it. I know Civ like Five. Me and too. <laughs> I, I know Civ Five pretty well, but Civ Six. Nope. Nope. Uh, yeah. Actually, I go back pretty far with Paradox Games. When I was growing up, uh, you know, there's a game called Imperator Rome, right? Oh yes, yes. I played the precursor to that one when it came out. What was it Europa Universalis Rome? I think. That is old. That is very old. It was okay. No idea how to play it. No idea. Gotta love me some console commands. Uh, with Hoi 4, I played... See, in high school. When I was in high school, I played... Uh, Darkest Hours. Oh, Hearts of Iron 2. And some Darkest Hour. And then I tried Hoi 3. Hoi 3. Couldn't figure it out. Went back to Darkest Hour. And then Hoi 4 came out eventually. And I got back into it. And I've been doing this for three years now. Oh yeah, uh, I mostly I was I mostly played a lot of Minecraft for a while. Then I took a break, and then it was a lot of Civ after that. Oh yeah, that's that's my entire video game story. Pretty simple. <laughs> that's cool. Minecraft and then Civ. Yeah, I liked I liked um, this one. It, it was it's the most complicated thing to explain ever, but it was a lot like a map game inside of Minecraft before I knew what these map games were. Huh. It's pretty funny. Like, okay. Capture the flag like <laughs> with a map. Oh, there's nice. a civil war. Yeah, maybe it'll slow down for you maybe if you want to send some guys yeah. to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's cool. I remember I remember when Minecraft first came out. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Yeah, I'm gonna play Minecraft for a little bit. Didn't get too far into it, and I know some people on my Discord server want me to play it, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't know that much about yeah. Minecraft. So. Yeah, I was into it forever ago, but it's been years since I did much. I made so I made a few maps on it and whatever, but yeah. I always like times now. I always like building up like a little castle, and then go yeah. on the little uh, mine carts and just build like roller coasters and stuff. Yeah. That's kind of cool. I don't know. I'm getting too old for this. It's been forever since I've done so anything really in Minecraft. <laughs> it just hey, let me know if you need me to speed it back up to a speed uh, three or four. Oh yeah, you can speed it back up. I, I got those guys going over there. Cool. Stinks. Oh, it looks like someone got already encircled. Very nice. Good job, Spain. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my gosh, communist China. Why do you have only seventeen thousand manpower? Oh wait, am I still training for no reason? No, we are. Good, 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 good. Mm. Let's, hope this go well. Let's hope this goes well in Spain. Last time I sent volunteers to Spain, I think they all got in circle oh. or something. Awesome, uh, good. Uh, did, you send, for... did you send air uh, support too? Oh no, not yet. I'll send that over. Cool. Hmm. I get two divisions, and I can take out Shang-Zi. Nice. Very nice. I only have eight divisions, and they're kind of garbo. But that's okay. Provo I'm in the same boat, except it's like 150 divisions, and they're all garbage, too, so. Well, that's pretty good. I mean, compared to eight, I mean, how many factories you got there? Soviet yeah. Union? 99. Let's, hold on, let's, let's see if I can do math. That's 33 times as many factories as I have right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, oh goodness. Can't I like, couldn't I like negotiate not licenses with you and maybe give you a few? Um, asking to access your production. <laughs> you want to ask Communist China for production? <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, sure, yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that's cool. I mean, you might spend them better than me right now since I just, I'm just trying to get guns. That's all I want. Oh yeah. That's all I'm gonna need. I guess until the Japanese. I guess I could just lend lease you once you get in a war. Of I'll course, make some. Of course. I'll make some better guns with my factories, exactly. and then I can send them over. Exactly. Oh, the divisions. Exactly. You can send a few planes, maybe some volunteers, a couple guys, oh, yeah, and steel wagons. You, you know. <laughs> oh, did you go to the Olympic Games? Oh no, I, I, I clicked the event too fast. I I didn't go. Oh okay. I mean, there's only 49 countries that went. It's a prop, kind of a propaganda victory for the German regime, but you know, whatever, whatever, you know. So let's see. 
I'm not in a faction. We, I might be able to, everyone watching, might be able to join the common turn. I don't really know, since this is Road to 56. But we do get a, a chance for me to get rid of Mao, actually. Uh, makes the fascist... Wait, I can become fascist? Huh. Fascist is communist China? That, that'd be quite the meme, but please, no. Please <laughs> we have to work together to... <laughs> Uh, Zhang Zuliang is current leader, huh? Fascist follower, cool. Yeah, I'm going to try. Oh, I can ask for supplies. Ooh, I might not go down with the form the Northwest National Defense Government because that means I can like get rid of Mao or something. I don't know. I'm not going to do that because that I don't understand it that well. I'd probably screw it up since I don't know it that well. That's okay. I can already provoke the Japanese if I want though. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that'd be great. Uh, if I can. If it, would, if it was an offensive one, I could guarantee you that'd work out well. I'm sure I could invade the. I could. I'm sure I could invade Japan in some meme invasion or something if I got to into a war with them. Oh yeah. Justify. Nice. I have forty six thousand manpower. Sometimes, sorry, just my thoughts are just all over the place. Sometimes, that's how I do my videos. Just usually focus on the video and on like my country, but I'm kind of scatterbrained. Wee. <laughs> no, it's all good. Let's see, approach the front. I get a war goal. Oh, please let me go to war in the first episode, please. I make oh, almost... Yeah, go to war, I'll send volunteers. I mean, it's only against shang -Chi. I should be okay, but eh, that's fine. If you want to send a couple of buddies over to mountainous China, awesome. Oh, yeah, I... I'll take all the army experience I can get. Training these divisions is only only going so well. Uh, yeah, I actually might need your help since they have eight divisions. We have an equal number of divisions. Uh, four and six. They might be even bigger than me. We have exactly the amount of manpower. Actually, how many factories you got? Four out of 25. Four out of one out of... Not looking great. Whatever. That's okay. <sighs> very nice, very nice. Oh yeah, both those guys have more factories. That's, that's kind of scary. That's okay. I'm sure Communist China has its buffs. It can, and you can get help from me, too. I can send, like, five divisions. Only if I didn't send all the tanks to Spain. So <laughs> That's okay. It's, uh... That's okay. Do you have Mountaineers? Yes. I, I, I recommend those boys, because you definitely don't want to be sending tanks to hills or mountains. Oh, my God. The attrition. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. I would never. Huh? I've, I've tried sending tanks to China before, and mm -hmm. that... Uh, bad times. I remember back in the day when I played Japan once. I think it might have been in vanilla. And uh, the trick was to encircle the capital, and that's it. Oh, that's five points in base. Just sit there. The entire time. Just sit there and encircle them. Encircle the capital yeah. so everyone else would lose supplies. I think you could still do that. That's such a gaming yeah, tactic can. to use. I mean, they still have victory points to give them just a little bit of supply, but that's okay. Yeah, I, I would have thought they would have buffed the supply that other victory points gives, but it's still just such an overpowered tactic. <sighs> I usually try not to use it, but if I'm ever struggling, oh, you bet I'll be <laughs> encircling their capital. Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, French Indochina China is its, is its own thing. Huh. French Indochina. Governor Jules... Brevi, breve. I don't know, man. I can't speak French. I took one year of French in high school. Uh, je m'appelle. My name is blankety blankety blank. Nice. That's done. Yeah, I took I took two years of Spanish. Don't know anything. I will. I probably could try to speak something, but oh, definitely not in a video. Oh this, man, that uh, what? What? Terrible. All right. So anyone uh, anyone viewing, we got to get shaky to say a little bit of Spanish. Oh no us. no. <laughs> No, <laughs> please no. I Mi casa so es su casa. Um, oh, yes. Bueno. Uh, sorry. I don't Ola. know. Hola. You can't forget about Ola. that. Hola. Yeah. Um, uno, dos, tres. I don't know. Let's go to war. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, there you go. I uh, hope we don't encounter too many guys. Can I please just have your capital? That would be nice. Uh, is everyone moving? Everyone's got legs? I hope so. Thank you. And let's go that way. Oh, I can get some war support. That's not bad. 
Let's see. I guess it's in reports to get a little bit of a buff, a little bit of a bonus. Yeah. Alright, so, well, the first tile has been taken. I have a total of ten divisions. Watch out the world. Hey, who is this? Big. Oh, there you go. I'll send, I can only send one guy, but... <laughs> Mustache Daddy sends us somehow. a dude. Cool. Uh, you know what? You break over, if possible, over the line. Y'all, you guys got legs. You guys can keep moving. We got legs for now until someone attacks us. Uh, oh. Hmm. We declare war when we don't have enough supplies. Perfect idea. Uh, would you like it on? Would you like this speed, or do you, would you like it a little bit faster? I mean, I oh, know I'm fine. I'm just going around in Spain trying to do stuff before I get officers purged. Ah, just taking a look at the hillsides, you know, and enjoying the mountains. Oh, that's why I'm having problems. I'm trying to drive through a mountain tile with tanks. Why? Uh, every time. Well, at least you know where that is now. Oh man, look at the Spaniards yep. got encircled up north. I have five factories. Wow. I got. I doubled my military factory. That's amazing. Yeah. Maybe one day you'll be able to make some artillery. Maybe, Maybe one day I'll be a big boy. Oh, oh, they. Oh, that sucks. That tile that they're on that I'm trying to take is the new capital. Oh, that's so not bueno. Hmm. That's okay. Ah, 50 political power. Hmm. More war support. The Soviets. Oh, there he is. Okay, let's do something. Mm -hmm. Construction speed, same ideology. War industrialist. Oh, stability, dude. Hmm. You know, as communist China, I can get Xia Ting, which gives me more daily communist support. The only problem is, I'm already 100% communist. Why would I do that? <laughs> See, that's what I'm thinking, too. Well, actually, I do have a bit of dem democratic support. Didn't even uh -oh. realize that. Wow. And this is why uh, you need some purges. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good, keep them in place. They're just dudes. They're just guys. Guys with guns. That's all. 40 more days and I can go to war again. Wow, look at that manpower. 300,000. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you start with cores on all of China? Uh, I think so, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yes. That's nice. Give me China. And Tibet. I wish I could see Japan to see when they're going to China. When is it in vanilla or up to 56? 37. I think it's the same. Early 37. 37. It should be that. Ooh, this looks like it sucks. Ooh, you know what? We're going to go up that way and do that. Thank you. They have another division up there. That's just not boy. No, what are you doing? Make your way around. Oh, man. You have artillery on that dude? Oh. Oh, yeah. How fancy. Hey, why isn't this guy a mountaineer? Oh, oh well, I must have <laughs> sent the wrong guy. It's okay. This That's alright. This is a desert tile, so it's fine. Oh, desert, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is Road to 56. We can unlock uh, different thingies. We can oh, yeah, those, different, uh, I keep forgetting about that. Special forces, shock troops, marines. I never touched them. Weren't there jungle soldiers, too? Jaegers. Yeah, I think yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's desert infantry as well as jungle. I never use those, man. Uh, yeah. What are these shock troops? I would assume that they're like, ah, tanks. thank you, Shaggy. Oh, thank you for your assistance in taking <laughs> out China. Oh yeah, thanks for the thanks for the army experience. No problem. I'll, I'll send some more for that future war. I'm oh, I'm no longer cornered. That sucks. Oh, I lost fit, plus fifteen percent defense. That sucks. Ooh. Oh well, that's okay. I have doubled my industrial output. Four civilian factories and two military factories. I am a world power now. Almost. Yes. Uh, well, eventually, eventually you will be. Once you take out yellow China. Well, probably Japan first, I would assume. Hmm. I'm going to go Zod. Unless we could be very sneaky. I don't know. I don't know if we could take out yellow China before Japan. Oh, God. That's, we only have, probably only have like five months. Oh, uh, I don't think I can. <laughs> yeah, that, I think that's it possible. That would be pretty funny, but... You know, I'm, I'm not Maybe bad. I'm not bad at Hoi Four, but I don't think I'm that good. Whew. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Let's see. Wait, why do we have two guys up there? Alright. So, deficit's getting better. Yeah, press censorship as much as I love censorship. Not today. Defeatism? We don't need that. Well, I have a national spirit called incompetent naval industry. Mm, I mean, I, I, I'd say I'd probably agree. I mean, I don't think I have any... Yeah, considering they're like, uh, zero, uh, or maybe one, probably zero ports in communist China. I'm a little landlocked, just a little bit, you know. Yeah, possibly. Incompetent industry, sure. Yeah, I guess I'd better bring my navy over to the Pacific, maybe I can try to do something with it there. That's true. I mean, it, it depends. Do you think you go to war with Japan first, or? Uh, yes, uh, I, I think I German. think there will be some aggression between me and Japan this time around. It might be a good idea to start justifying a war goal right now, maybe huh. two hundred days. I mean, you don't have to. You can just focus on taking out the Germans first. Yeah. I mean, that, if you don't go to war, that means you can just directly send me volunteers. That'd be totally cool. Yeah, I can do that, or I could try to naval invade their mainland. No, take them out really quick. To you, man. I, I've, I've done that once. It's been a long time, but I know it's possible. I guess I don't know about in this mod, but we'll see. That's true, yeah. I, 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 I don't know Japan at all in Road to 56. Let's see. Duplicate hit research. This guy, the Zabusas. They're still hindered by the London Naval Treaty, which is good. Uh, they have anywhere between 22 to 103 divisions. Casually three quarters of a million to a million manpower, and then a couple battleships, carriers, a couple of the bad boys in there. Nothing yeah. I can't handle. Nothing that you can't handle. Exactly. Oh yes, of course. Especially if they don't garrison their mainland or put their navy out. That is exactly. I don't know. The AI is better at it in La Reza Stance, but uh, they're still not perfect. Cool. But we are going to pause out here because we're about hmm, half an hour in. So. Let us end it, and I will tell everyone. So, all right, everyone, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, maybe consider leaving a like on my channel as well as D Shaky's channel as well. Subscribe to both channels if you haven't already. And I guess we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.